You are listening to the Fits and Healthy Podcast. I am your host, Dr. Lauren Fitzgerald, also known as Lauren Fitz. I'm a medical doctor, a fitness instructor, an entrepreneur, a health and fitness coach, but most importantly, I am a lover of life. And here on the Fits and Healthy Podcast, I intend to give you a ton of great information and knowledge that will serve as potential power so that you can live a life by design and make it more fits and healthy. And don't forget to listen to the disclaimer at the end. I'm not your doctor, yo. All right. Enjoy the episode. Much love. Ciao. All right. Hello and welcome, everybody. We are live on YouTube and uh, our, our Facebook page, Clip Fits Fitness. Woo-hoo. And um, this is our first official um, since we launched Fits Friday ah. Q&A. And um, <laughs> by now, a lot of you have already gone to whatever podcast application that you use. A lot of you guys use iTunes podcast app that's already innately on your phone. Um, but for those non-Apple users, you've gone to Podbean, Stitcher. What are the other ones that I'm forgetting? Symphony. Those are the only two that I have heard of is Podbean and Stitcher. Anything no that shot. supports Google Play is is essentially <laughs> for the non-Apple people. And I'm not judging you, but you should go Apple. I'm just saying. Um, I said that too on my Snapchat. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm talking a little about biased. it. I was like, I shouldn't even have to tell you about Podbean and Stitcher. Just get an iPhone. I know. Seriously. I'm an Apple girl, but um, mm-hmm. pretty much everything I own is Apple. So, yes, and I have an Apple watch now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and so for those of you that don't understand why I'm showing you the Apple watch, um, I am giving away a free Apple watch for everyone that enters the contest. Now it's going to be at the end of this month, but what you have to do to enter to win the Apple Watch at the end of the month is you have to go to whatever application is that you listen to a podcast on. And if you're a podcast virgin, that's okay. We are popping a lot of podcast cherries. And we're in fact, <laughs> we're getting a t-shirt that says that too, because there's so many of you guys. Apparently after today, we're gonna have a lot of t-shirts yes. because we've coined a lot of <laughs> phrases today. <laughs> Seriously. But um, but yeah, so, so go to the podcast app. You need to subscribe to the Fits and Healthy podcast. That's F-I-T-Z and healthy subscribe, download all the episodes, and then leave us a review. That's huge, guys. There's already 111 reviews, and we're on day five. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yes, like big time. uh, Shout out to everyone that has taken the time because I I know on iTunes, I don't know how to do it on Podbean or whatnot, but I know on iTunes, they don't make it easy. Um, And so you actually have to take the time to figure out how to leave a review. Yeah. Um, So, so those of you that the 111 of you that have taken the time to do it, thank you so much. And, and we, we thank you in advance. If you're going to go today after listening to this live Q and a, um, so this morning was our first Q and a that was published on the podcast app. It was recorded two Fridays ago. It was after we did our interview for episode number 10 with Melissa McAllister Mm -hmm. and we kept her around for the Q&A and I'll tell you right now not every Q&A will we have a guest but um, when they're special guests I like them to stay around and if you guys (laughs) notice um, we have a very special guest with us and if you if you are a Club Fits fan you definitely know who this gentleman is with us today (laughs) this is the one and only Chris Anse. Bam! Huh? Look at that! <laughs> ah, ah. I love the shirt. Hi. <laughs> so, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering. Wait, why is he on this podcast? And no, I'm not going to interview all of my my crazy top fans. But um, we just uh, did a. I don't know. We're going to probably make it episode 13 or 14. Um, we did an episode um, for the Fits and Healthy podcast about health insurance because um, yeah. we all have a unique um, perspective of health insurance because many of you guys know that I am a medical doctor that no longer practices medicine. Um, but a lot of you guys don't realize that Crisantse works in the healthcare or the health insurance industry. So he's on the other side of health insurance 
And the information that he gives you in this podcast is uh, like literally life-changing. I can't yeah. even tell you yeah. how much, <laughs> like you guys are going to have to download this episode once it is available. It will yeah. probably be available in two to three Mondays, because for those of you that don't know, um, our, our launch, not our launch schedule, our, um, release schedule is yeah. every Monday, we will have one full episode and, and the topics like very, uh, they're all over the, the place, but <laughs> all topics are to help empower you to live a more fits and healthy life. Yes. I love that. That will definitely be a t-shirt. You know that, right? I love that too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but so every Monday that episode is released Mo more times than not, those episodes are about an hour long. And then on Fridays, the Q and a is released on the podcast app so that you can literally get at midnight on Friday. But then if you want to be part of our live show, show up here every Friday at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, and you can actually ask us live questions. And so I'm not going to be reading them, but that's part of Symphony's role is to be reading the questions <laughs> and, and you guys can ask us questions live. And so, so we just finished recording the episode with Chris Anse. And I, you know, I told him, I'm like, if you'd like, I, I would love for you to stay live. And he's like, uh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah. And, and so I, I thought it was very perfect because, because a lot, <laughs> I'm special. <laughs> um, a lot of you club fits fitness fans already know who Chris Anse is. Um, his, his real name is not Chris Anse. It's Chris, but I, <laughs> this is like the third, the third time that I've called him Chris, because I always call him Chris Anse. And like, literally when I, when I was telling Cynthia, Weird. about him I didn't even say Chris I, I'm like she well, introduced him as Chris Anse yeah. so I thought that was his name I was like, that's, a, that's a cool name it's very saucy <laughs> most people think that too believe it or yeah. not it's so my cheeks hurt so bad right now <laughs> <I> know, right? <laughs> <laughs> but but um but for those of you guys that don't know so we always film the um episodes of the podcast and we release those on the fits and healthy YouTube channel the day that 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 particular episode Episode is released because there are some people that that you know would prefer to watch and so yeah. a little trick is that we change clothes because we usually film two episodes at once mm -hmm. and so so <laughs> Symphony and I had already um, recorded one episode before Crisante got on the call and I'm like hold up he, he got on I'm like hold up I gotta go change clothes and I hadn't even thought about it, and I'm like <gasps> My croissant shirt. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> he gave this to me two Decembers ago for Christmas, uh, right around the time that I had surgery. And we talk about this in the podcast episode. Um, and and this shirt actually has a lot of, of special meaning to me, which you'll hear. I don't want to give away all the good stuff from the podcast, yeah. but you'll you'll hear that story. <laughs> it's it's a really moving story. Um, but this this shirt means more to me than you guys realize. It's not yeah. just because um, one of the number one club fits fitness fans gave it to me. <laughs> um, it, it, it has a lot more meaning to it, but, um, anyway, let's get to the point because these Q and a Fridays, you guys, you literally can ask me and symphony plus or minus anything. guest anything, anything, but I will let you know that I don't know everything. Symphony yeah. doesn't know everything. So I always yes, reserve I the right to, yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, don't give I, it away. Right, right. <laughs> I always reserve the right to say, I don't know, but I will find out. And yes. so, so that being said, let's open up. Do we have any questions already? So we do have a couple questions. Okay. Okay. So, give it. um, Lori wants to know what is your favorite podcast that you listen to? Oh man. Okay. That's a, a great question. So, mm -hmm. um, and, and Lori, I'm not sure if you're talking to me or you're talking to, um, uh, Symphony or, um, Crisante, but I'm going to answer for me and I'll let you guys answer. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have a number one favorite, mm -hmm. but I will give you my top three. My top three favorite are, I love Sean Stevenson. Love, love, yeah. love him. The model health show there's just the, his personality and his co-host. And in fact, his co-host Jade, their interaction was what I kind of envisioned when I started thinking about who I wanted as my co-host. Oh, and to answer SH's question, um, <laughs> well, I, I started answering it. Um, but the symphony is the person that I chose as my co-host for this show, because I wanted a voice that spoke out that was a, a millennial. So someone in their twenties who is, has no, 
um, medical knowledge whatsoever. So can represent the, the, the lay person who is like, okay, wait, Lauren, you're, you're talking medical jargon. I, I need you to, to bring it down and, and, and explain it to the non-medical person. And yeah, and she and I are both very like-minded individuals. Um, so we, we both truly have a passion to help people empower them and, and give them the knowledge that has potential power to change their lives forever. And so, um, yeah. so, so I, I model health show, definitely one of them. I love, mm -hmm. um, Ben Greenfield fitness. Um, he, he can be a little sciencey for some, I know, but I like the geeky science stuff and I, I love <laughs> talk he, nerdy to yes, me. Yes. <laughs> talk nerdy to me, baby. For real. Mm. <laughs> and, and then, um, I, I think a tie for the number three is either Shalene Johnson or Lewis house. I love me some Shalene, but I also love me some Lewis house. So those, yeah. those are, I'll just say my top four. So okay. what, what about you, Symphony? Well, it's funny because model health show is one of my favorites yeah. for sure. I love Dr. Hyman's podcast. It's very short and sweet. Like his episodes aren't very long, but it's called the house call. Okay. And he, um, is a functional medicine doctor and he talks a lot about fat, which if you listen to our podcast, you know, that we are advocates of fat and we're not talking about the fat on your body. That's goo. We established that yes, in one of our episodes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> we're talking about the fat that you eat, that your body needs. Yes. So I really love Dr. Hyman's podcast. I have to agree with you on the model health show. That was the, um, kind of the first podcast that I started listening to that introduced me to functional medicine or, you know, healing your body through nutrition. And then I really love the mind your business podcast. It's a really yeah. good podcast. He, I met him in person. He's a cool, cool really? dude. And yeah. And, and very, um, a, a lot of great knowledge every week for yeah. the entrepreneur for sure. Yeah. Now, Chris Ante, are you a podcast listener? Well, I do. Now you, you know are. You well, know you're obligated well, to say what your favorite uh -huh. podcast is, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, my new number one is Club Fits. I mean, Fits and Healthy. There sorry. we go. <laughs> but <laughs> um, I do like listening to. Um, I I I I love politics. So, but I love. Um, uh, there's an independent website called Five Thirty Eight. Um, okay. that's the podcast I listen to. It's by okay. Nate Silver. Okay. I mean, it's a lot about, um, what's going on and from an independent perspective, not okay. on a yeah. partisan side. And it's really good. Oh, so nice. yeah, there's always, um, and, and one of the, one of the topics on there was about, um, uh, health insurance. Oh, nice. So, and I, and I got to listen to that one. So nice. that was really good. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, All right. What other questions? H yep. Wants to know if you still do dance sessions in Oklahoma. SH. So I moved to Orange County, California in December. So I no longer live in Oklahoma. Um, I actually teach now. I, I, I found there's a really bougie gym, which if you don't know what bougie <laughs> means, apparently, <laughs> apparently a lot of people don't are not familiar with that word. Cause I think it maybe <laughs> originated in California, like m many <laughs> lingos do. Um, but, uh, it's very swanky gym. Like it's like the reason why I went there, um, to one to each was because I'm like, this gym is nice and I don't want to have to pay for the dues. So I'm just going to teach here. So I teach at Equinox, um, here in orange County. And, um, and I'm, I'm actually going back to Oklahoma for Kelsey's baby shower in June. Um, and I, I, I told her I'm staying an extra day so I can take her class. Uh, cause she still teaches uh, there in Oklahoma. Cool. She and Emily, um, they, they teach, uh, Kelsey teaches on Mondays and Thursdays, and then Emily teaches on Tuesdays. So, so that they're still rocking and rolling in Oklahoma for sure. Awesome. That's yeah. So cool. Okay. So cutie with freckles wants to know, how do you get more endurance? I lost 80 pounds, but I still get out of breath so fast, just running for one minute. I want to run a marathon eventually. That's a great question. So yeah, first, really question. first question is why in the hell would you want to run a marathon? <laughs> Amen. Oh, agreed. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I think the um, shirt that Victoria's Secret made that I hate running was made with me in mind. Right. Uh, I, yeah. I mean, no, but, but I, I, I jokingly say that, but I also truly say that um, because running a marathon I, I think that so many people um, need to get in touch with their why. Why are you running a marathon? Because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people um, mm -hmm. assume that that they're going to lose weight with um, marathon running. And in fact, uh, most people don't really do that. They take on injury and, and it's, um, and I'm not, 
anti marathon running, but the, yeah. the why is, is right. what, what I want to get to. And, mm -hmm. and if, if you're, we actually did an episode about exercise, what it is and what it isn't. And one of the first things we said is it, it doesn't, it's not the best way to lose weight, the best way, sure. if you are wanting to lose weight. And that's where yeah. a lot of people who have the thought, I want to, you know, I want to run a marathon. That's oftentimes yeah. where they start. Well, I want to lose this extra weight. So they think, they think of the, the marathon runner that's emaciated, that looks like they haven't eaten in weeks. Okay. If that's what they look like, then that's where I need to start. Then, sure. um, I, I'll be the first to tell you, if you just want to build endurance, um, hit training is one of the yes. best things to do. And yeah, for sure. And, and hit training doesn't take much time. That's the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. And, and all of the science shows that you can literally take out of a seven day week, take two to three days where you're doing a hit, a hit training. That's literally 10 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And, and what hit stands for it's H I I T. So it's high intensity intensity interval training. Mm -hmm. And so essentially there's different, um, time periods that you can do hit training uh, one common one is 45 seconds on 15 seconds off, meaning rest, catch, catch your breath. Um, yeah. there's the 30 second on 10 second off. Um, mm -hmm. but the whole idea is in the, the longer time interval, whether it be 30 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever time interval it is that you choose, you yeah. are going balls to the wall and yeah. you're like killing <laughs> it to the point that you think you're going to throw up. And then yeah. all of a sudden, okay, the timer goes off and you catch your breath. Yeah. It kind and, of goes in rounds, yeah. almost like, um, boxing. Exactly. I can relate to you, cutie with freckles. <laughs> Which is a great <laughs> name, by the way. <laughs> it's great so, name. It is. It's so cute. I love, I love it. it. Yes. Um, because when I was 20, um, you would think a 20 year old has a ton of endurance. They can do whatever, right? I went hiking with my fiance's family and I was so out of breath. I was wheezing and I was so embarrassed. I went home and cried because I was like, what's wrong with me? Like, I'm normal. Like, I don't have any problems and I'm hiking. It's yeah. because I had no endurance. I didn't have a strong heart. I hadn't built up the endurance, mm. but then I started doing hit workouts. It's actually turbo kick. I would take live classes twice a week and it's been game changing for me. We went hiking wow. again about two years later in Hawaii on family vacation. And I was the second one to the top because yes. I wanted to make sure that I was not the last one who up was, there. And I who wasn't was first? Wheezing. Who, who was <laughs> first? Of course. <laughs> I was waiting for that. I mean, come on. <laughs> I love it. But I love it. <laughs> I can, I can vouch for that though, that, um, hit training will be a huge difference for you. And if that's a goal of yours, that's awesome. If you just want to run a marathon, just to say you did it, that's cool. Yeah. And apparently that's, it. that's what she answered. Yeah, and I love the said. fact Nikki Smith Nikki. wrote, I don't even run after <laughs> ice cream trucks. <laughs> That is awesome. Yes. Uh, Nikki, um, do I. <laughs> besides turbo fire, which other programs does Beachbody have? Maybe a silly question, but curious, not a silly question That's at all. A good question. There's actually, so, um, T25 is a great one. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. there, there are some, some programs within programs that you yeah. can find hit workouts. So yeah. like, for instance, there is not, there, there's plenty of beach body programs that if you go and you look at every single program or every single workout, it's, they're not all hit workouts, but mm -hmm. the workout within the workout, like for example, um, insanity max 30, they've got some Tabata workouts, yeah. um, that, that you can literally get that 20 minute, that 30 minute workout, actually insanity max 30 is 30 minutes, but, yeah. um, but turbo or, or uh, t25 is a great example and then you could always go to the club fits fitness page and I'm create okay, your own. You're already here. oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> those of you that don't realize you can make your own playlist on youtube and so mm -hmm. literally there's like over 400 videos to choose mm -hmm. from I'm yeah. just really that's how many you're at now uh, yeah no it's it's something crazy yeah. like that. well you just uploaded like 50 like the whole past week so <laughs> well it, it, it seems like it's in the last few weeks but the, you know, these have been all so going funny. on behind the yeah. scenes this, right. this whole time Time, we've I been at this stopped. for a while yeah exactly exactly oh, and you know they blocked your despacito one i heard yeah my girl kate messaged me and and i i just ugh. it makes no sense to me why these companies these big recording companies um i agree don't allow because it it brings i mean it brings people are to gonna want to buy yeah. the song to dance to it with your choreography yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so so lauren um Boo Boon Yen Yezi. 
I totally just jacked that up. I, I apologize, Lauren, but I know how to say your first name. Bunyanezi. Um, <laughs> Bunyanezi. Bunyanezi. That's, that's you're probably right. Bunyanezi. That sounds right. That that rolls off the tongue. Um, any insight on weight loss for teens? Absolutely. So um the the fact is that our standard American diet is full of processed mm. foods that um, are full of chemicals that tell our bodies, our brain, our hormones um, to crave more of it. That is what these big food companies, um, how they make money. And um, the, the best way is to change your nutrition and change yes. the family's nutrition. Yes. Um, because the fact is, and I, if, if you've listened to my, um, my podcast about um, parenting, has that been out yet? I think so. Um, wasn't that's it? I, I've we've recorded so many po- it's it's amongst that that's what mm-hmm. I thought amongst the 10 I, I give a little <laughs> tough love to parents um in the fact that um you your kids watch you and yeah. your kids are going to do what you do so if if you struggle with your way and I'm not I, I don't know Lauren Bunyezi yeah. she said we said it right Achoo. sorry <laughs> Um, <laughs> the, it, it, I don't We're know. We're going to call you LB. Yeah. Yeah. LB. Yes. Actually, no, that stands for pounds. I'm just going to call her Lauren. Oh, JK. Okay. We're yeah. just going to call you by your name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but the fact is, I don't know if, if you struggle with your weight or not. Oftentimes, um, it, the, our, our children take on the habits of, yeah. of the parents. And mm-hmm. so, um, I always, when I have a, a, a person that I'm helping lose weight, um, one of the biggest complaints is, well, I don't know if my family's going to eat this way. And the fact is, if you should be eating this way, your spouse should be eating this way, your kids should be eating yes. this way. And the best thing to do is to go through your pantry, go through your refrigerator and get rid of Franken foods, all of the yeah. fake foods that, um, that you turn the label. Well, more times than not, if it has a label, it's, and if it has more than like, you know, five or six ingredients, especially ingredients that you can't pronounce. And yeah. you're like, yep, what is that? Yeah. You, you should just throw it away because those ingredients are giving your body signals that mm-hmm. are jacking with your hormones. And, and mm-hmm. one thing that I've talked about on more than one uh, podcast episode is that changing the mindset of a person that, that's, that looks at, okay, I've got either me or my kid who is struggling with weight. What can I do? Like, is there some, you know, how many calories do they need to eat and how, how much exercise do they need to do? And instead of thinking of that, changing the way that you think and thinking, okay, they have a hormonal imbalance and what in their environment, whether it be food or toxins that they're exposed to, or maybe too much exercise. Like there's so many things that throw our hormones out of balance. And Hey, guess what? If you're a dude that's listening to this and you're like, Oh, they're talking hormones. Hey, you have hormones too. Mm-hmm. And, and the fact is that both males and females that struggle with weight, your problem, your root problem is hormonal imbalance. And yeah. you don't realize that so many of the foods that you're eating are throwing off your hormones. Like for instance, let's just talk about dairy. You guys, you, the dairy company, the dairy big food wants you to believe that, oh, you need to be drinking milk because this is your bones are going to be stronger and Mm. calcium. Well, that's just great marketing on their point because you can, you can strengthen your bones in so many better ways Yeah, (laughs) and you don't have to expose yourself to all of the hormones and antibiotics and all of the stuff that's in their fat, because everything that they eat goes into your body and conventionally raised cows. You guys watch any documentary and Mm -hmm. you'll be disgusted, Mm -hmm. but guess what? All of that goes into your body. And so if that cow was given hormones, those hormones go into your body and they mess with your hormones. And so, so starting to look at the root cause of your teenager's weight problem is what foods do I have in my house that are jacking with her hormones, his or her mm-hmm. hormones? I don't know if your teenager is a, a, a male or a female. Yeah. Okay. So next question for Chris on say, this is from Derby. She says, since you are so passionate about politics, how do you stay positive through false or negative news coverage? Question. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Derby. Are we really going there? Really? I all know I hate politics. Go ahead. I'm too political. Well, I'll just say, <clears throat> I just try to, I just, I just say, 
you know, well, I, it's so hard. But, you know, I will say that you have to stay positive regardless because at the end of the day, we all need each other, Amen. you know. And if we continue to remain divided and if we continue to not listen to other people and understand why they believe in something and you disagree with them regardless of how you feel you know you just look at it as like i i look at like the one thing i look at is i'm still alive i woke up today i'm breathing i'm doing i'm doing well i'm doing all those things i may not agree with someone politically on something but i think that's okay that's why i say i say that's okay to you know you don't have to fight with them and you don't even have to delete them off Facebook. You know, <laughs> you can. <laughs> you can unfollow them, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're going to follow them. Exactly. I mean, like, that's your right. And, um, but, you know, I just say, you know, we're all people. You know, we're yeah. all one. We all bleed the same at the end of the day. Yeah. And, um, you know, we don't have to agree to love each other, but we can still love each other. Yeah. Well, I, I think that the most important point is it's a choice. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. And I, and I've said this uh, a lot in the last two days, anyone yeah. that follows me on Snapchat knows that yep. um, my place had a little flooding. So my laundry room and bathrooms decided to vomit water and explode uh, water. Yes. Explode water. <laughs> There's no vomit in there. Thank God. But, <laughs> but yeah, but water, uh, like I'm, I, I've got to have people come and do drywall and all that kind of good stuff tomorrow. And right. um, I could easily, let that bring me down and be unhappy about it and focus on all of the negative aspects of it. But instead I choose happy. And at the end of the day, all of us have something that is good in our life. And if we, Mm -hmm. we focus on that, I mean, it it only hurts you if you don't, you know, and and politics is just, know that you are up to you. You cannot con you cannot control anything else outside of you. You are up to you. Robert yes. just whispered in my ear, by the way, for those of y'all can't hear Robert. He, we can all hear him in our yeah. headphones. <laughs> that was, that was, that was, uh, Symphony funny. is saying something serious and, and he's like, blah, 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 blah. So, I have no idea what he said. So, um, uh, Poor Samantha Lucas. Hi, everyone. What's up? I like your videos. Is there any way to lose fat? You don't even care. Talk to you later. (laughs) All right, Samantha. We actually do care. You just should have stayed around a little bit longer. And Um, and we have a whole podcast episode dedicated. (laughs) Yeah, we do have a whole podcast episode. Ways to lose fat. (laughs) Yeah, we do. We do. Um, But Cutie with Freckles has one more question. What's the best way to get over a plateau? I feel stuck right now. Should I lessen my calories or exercise more or both? Ah, cutie with freckles. I'm so glad that you asked that question because that's actually going to be the very next podcast episode that I record is the myth of calories in versus calories out is how you do it. And that is based on false science. And, but it's, it's what we're all brainwashed to believe. And I yeah. am the first person guilty of believing it for majority of my life. And yeah. in fact, I've given multiple patients that medical advice. Mm-hmm. And I, the more I learn, the more I'm like, Oh, I mm-hmm. wish that I knew then what I know now. Um, because again, the answer to that question is not eat less and or exercise more. Mm-hmm. It's look at the food you're eating. Yes look at the food you're eating. And if you don't know what to eat, this is where a perfect opportunity for you to reach out to um, a health coach like me or Symphony, or if you know of any, because this is where we help people get past plateaus because you're stuck in a plateau for very good reasons, but they're all reasons that you don't understand. And so, so yeah, it's no, it's not eat less calories or exercise more. That's, that's actually the last thing you want to do. Especially Um, because restricting your calories is not sustainable. And when it comes to weight loss and keeping it off, you want a lifestyle. You want something that you can maintain and restricting your calories is not something that you can do forever. You can't maintain that. Yes. So make sure that you approach your goals, doing something that is sustainable. Ask yourself, can I live this way for the rest of my life? Can I eat this way for the rest of my life? Can I exercise at this rate for the rest of my life? Oh, that makes me think. So there is this one guy, I don't know how, I'm not going to say his name, 
but anyone that lives in Oklahoma city knows this guy, he has this huge fitness business and I, he makes bank off of people. And he puts that out. Like it makes me infuriated when I hear someone that's come from his, his, um, I think he, it's his name and then it's a boot camp. but he puts his, his clients on this literally like crazy restrictive diet where they're eating like 600 calories a day and they're, oh they're going to the gym and they're, they're burning like that much and more in the time. Like it, the fact that he hasn't been sued. It, wow. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it, it angers I've me seen things like that too. You, like, and, yeah. and yeah. I've seen different programmers were like that, like that, that particular example that you just gave, like, oh, I've yeah. seen that and that's oh, scary yeah. because I don't think that's safe at all. It's not, it's not. Well, and it, it, ultimately, like, like Symphony said, it's not sustainable. So you're, once they stop doing that, they will regain and then gain more yeah. back. Yeah. And then they have jacked their metabolism yeah. in a major way. Totally destroys it. Jacked their hormones. Their hormones are like, ah! right. And a, get, regaining control of that is really hard. Yeah. So yeah, don't, but we need to get, uh, so a good book to read, um, is by Gary Tobbs, um, good calories, bad calories. And then he wrote a less dense, less sciencey version um, of not a sequel, but basically because good calories, bad calories is pretty. It's, I mean, it's that thick. And it, if you don't have some sort of a science mind, it, it, I can understand how you could probably get to first chapter and be like, Oh, hell no. Uh, yeah. Forget it. <laughs> I give up. But, but, um, but his second book, um, why we get fat is actually, it's a, it's a smaller book and it's written a little bit more for the non sciencey person who mm -hmm. just kind of wants the, the quick and easy. And it's a great book, but, but it, he specifically talks about, um, why this myth, of it, I, I love it because he's the one who, and oh, this is probably what we'll we'll title the episode, which I want to record next week. By the way, Symphony. Mm -hmm. um, Good to it, know. I'm listening. It's, yeah, I know. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> yeah, she gets like heads up for the podcast topic, literally like <laughs> sometimes a day before. The day of. Yeah, <laughs> more so times funny. than not, it's the day of. Yeah, <laughs> like your playlist, uh, right? Exactly. <laughs> I know people are always like, can we see your playlist for the master class? I'm like, you guys, I make it on the plane on the way there. Right. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> right. um, but but I, I, I wish I would have come up with this. You need, instead of seeing it as physics, you need to see it as biology because it's mm. not physics. It's, it's, it's not, uh, I've eaten this many calorie K cows and I've burnt this much, but it's biology. It's what this food that goes into my body does to my biology, my hormones. Yeah. Because like I said, if you eat a whole row of Oreos and however many calories that is, if you eat the same amount, amount of calories in broccoli, your body is going to do something totally different. It's mm -hmm. not just about the amount of calories and yes. your exercise. Yes. So, okay. So what other questions we have? Brooklyn says you guys rock. Thank you, Aww, Brooklyn. Thanks, Brooklyn Mullis. <laughs> Ranjo0511 also wanted to know about the plateau. So I hope that we, um, Excellent. you know, covered that for you. Excellent. And then Cutie says, thank you for, or Cutie with Freckles says, thank you for answering my questions. Love you guys. We love you too, you Cutie. Yay, yay. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. So, so I, these, these fits and healthy, um, Fitz Friday Q and A's. I want to keep somewhere between 30 minutes and 45 minutes so that you have a, a quick and easy listen on Friday for the podcast. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right now. Um, but if you haven't already gone and subscribed to the Fits and Healthy podcast, you would help us out immensely by going and doing three things. One, subscribing. So for those of you that are on iTunes, the podcast app is the purple thing that, uh, that is already on your phone. Yeah. Um, go search fits and healthy F I T Z mm -hmm. and healthy, and you can find it. Once you click on it, click subscribe and then go download all 11 episodes. Cause now there are 11 cause the first fits Friday Q and a was <laughs> put out today. Yeah. Um, go download all episodes. And then the third and most important step is to leave a review. Yeah. And, and the way that you leave a review, at least for iTunes, what you do is you go to the search under I've the podcast app, the mm -hmm. little search, the magnifying glass. So you click on search, you search fits and healthy, and there's three options when you do that, that search. 
click on the fits and healthy and then it gives you the picture where there's three tabs at the top and in the middle tab is reviews and that's yeah. where you can hopefully leave a five-star review for us and then please write we read every single review we do. Um, and you know if you've got some some criticism please give it to us because we, we want good and bad feedback because ultimately the podcast is for you the listener and yeah. uh, we want to know how to make it better so um we don't we, know how to help how to help you unless you communicate that to us. Exactly. So please let us know what we can do to help you. Exactly. Exactly. So thank you. You guys, we already have, in, we're on day five since launch day. And the fact that we have 111 reviews, I don't think you realize how huge that is. They're I've, all five-star reviews too. Yeah. yeah. And, huge. and I've, I've been, I've listened to podcasts for, for years now, and I've heard multiple different podcasters talk about how hard it is to get their listeners to leave a review. And now that I'm a podcaster, I, I know, and I, literally the fact that in five days there are 111 reviews, it just, it's mind blowing. Yeah. Um, and I don't even know how many downloads we're at right now. I know that a few days ago it was 15,000 oh and gosh. that blew my mind yeah. um, because uh, if you guys watched the live broadcast with Rob Dial, it's, Current total is 16,000. 16, oh, wow. oh my gosh. <laughs> that's Congrats. So that's crazy. awesome. But Rob, oh Rob Dial told me on his day one of launch, he had 40 downloads. So the fact that we yeah. had 11 or 12,000 in our first 48 hours, yeah. is huge. So that's huge. A, a huge thank you to everyone um, for your support and um, make sure we will put in the, the, the notes down below on the YouTube channel and on the Club Fits Fitness page, the link for uh, to enter the contest. Once you've done yeah. subscribe, downloaded and left a review, you can click on the link and be entered to win a free Apple iWatch at the end of the yes. month. All right. So much <laughs> love, Chrysante. Thank you for joining us. Aww, yeah, thank, thank you for so much. having me. Just it's been so fun you. chatting with you. you. Yay. Yay. And <laughs> That's I, I, a lot of fun. And I know that a lot of the Club Fits fans were happy to see you on. Yeah. And, and if they weren't on live, I, I love them. They were, they're yeah, great. They're great yeah. people. And, and, and Brooke, I, I see that you just asked where to, to leave a review on iTunes. I just explained that. I don't know on Podbean <clears throat> or not, but we will make sure in the comments below that we have exact instructions on where to, how to, and where to leave a review on the different yeah. platforms. All right. Yeah. So thank you for taking the time, Brooklyn, to look yes. for it and do it too. That's yes. awesome. Yes. Thank, thank you. you in advance for sure. So thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And, um, Symphony, do you want to tell them? Just know that you are a good person and you deserve good things to happen to you. Amen. Hope you guys have a more fit and healthy life because of listening to this podcast. Much love. Make sure that you find us on social media. You can find Symphony on Instagram and Facebook at Symphony. So that's C-I-N-T-H-A-N-I-E. And on Snapchat at Symphony P. And find me on social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Club Fits Fitness. Remember, that's F-I-T-Z Fitness. And on Snapchat, just at Club Fits. I appreciate your time listening so much. If you enjoyed this episode of the Fits and Healthy Podcast, can you please go do me a favor and go subscribe whatever platform that it is that you listen to podcasts, leave a review. We read every single review and we appreciate the time that you take to leave your thoughts and opinions. Now, also remember, while I am a medical doctor, the information I provide here is not intended to provide medical advice or a professional diagnosis, opinion, treatment, or services to you or to any other individual. I am providing general information for educational and informational purposes only, and it is not a substitute for medical or professional care. You should not use this information in place of a visit, call, consultation, or the advice of your physician or other healthcare provider. The information I share is not intended to treat, cure, or diagnose any disease or medical condition. If you believe you have a medical emergency, just call 911 immediately or your physician. Now, enough of that medical legal jargon. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. I appreciate your time. Now, go live a fits and healthy life.